Hello, and thank you for listening into this video. Today, we hope to provide an overview of reporting troubleshooting. Specifically, this explainer video will provide a brief overview on reporting resources. Then we will cover submitting reports, bulk uploads, and extensions. The Treasury posted several resources to guide recipients' compliance with SLFRF reporting requirements. To access these resources, first navigate to the SLFRF website at treasury.gov slash SLFRP reporting. Here you will find the self-service resources, which is a good starting point for many questions. You can also find the compliance and reporting guidance and the 2022 final rule. The guidance explains all the required reports in detail and is the best resource for any reporting questions. So if you scroll to the ne next section of the same web page, you will find the latest user guides for reporting. This updated project and expenditure report user guide located at treasury.gov slash SLFRF reporting provides helpful information on submitting reports that can be used to solve a number of issues. In addition, if you scroll down further, you will find Treasury's webinar library where you can find numerous step-by-step -step demonstrations, including a webinar on the project and expenditure portal, project and expenditure reporting, and reporting under the revenue loss eligible use category. Now that you have these resources, let's get into how to submit a report. So first you will need to locate the portal, which is located on the same webpage under the Accessing Treasury's Portal section. Whether you will use the login.gov or id.me portal link will depend on which type of account your organization has. To submit reports in the SLFRF reporting portal, you must have the authorized representative role on your account. Please contact your account administrator to determine if you have this role and to have it added if you do not have this role. If you are the account administrator for your entity, you can enter the portal and add this role for yourself. Once the role has been added, try submitting the report again. If this does not resolve your reporting issue, please send an email to COVIDRelieFITSupport at treasury.gov to request an IT ticket for this issue. As I mentioned earlier, the most recent user guide can also be helpful, helpful, helpful resource to answering questions you may have as you submit reports. Now, let's turn to bulk uploads. And please review the reporting user guide for this as well, as it contains useful information about the bulk upload process including CSV format details. For example, you will find CSV format details in the user guide, which is the required format for uploading instead of an Excel format. If there is an error with the bulk upload file, the portal will notify you of all errors, and these errors can be corrected within the portal. You may also download an Excel file that lists all of the errors. After fixing the errors, you can re-upload the file. Remember to revalidate the file after it is re-uploaded. When uploading, please be patient because uploading these files can take a while. Please note the bulk upload system does not accept dollar signs or commas for monetary values. Please refer to Appendix B in the current version of the Project and Expenditure Report User Guide, which is available on Treasury's website for additional information. Now we will turn to extensions. It is important to submit the reports by their corresponding deadline because generally there are no extensions. The data submitted by recipients will be used internally to fulfill Treasury's oversight and accountability obligations. Late submissions undermine the efficiency and timeliness of these processes. Recipient submissions received after the reporting deadline will be considered late and recipients will be asked to provide a date by which the delayed reporting will be submitted so that Treasury can plan for incorporating the data. Please remember that a record of late reporting could lead to a finding of non-compliance, which could result in development of a corrective action plan or other consequences as appropriate. Treasury's own reporting may also highlight those recipients whose reports were not received by the deadline. It is also, if it is past the deadline and you haven't submitted your report, please submit the necessary reports as soon as possible. As a recap, today we've discussed the reporting resources available to you, including information regarding submitting reports, bulk uploads, and extensions. We hope that you found this video informational. If you require additional assistance, please reach out to us by email, and you'll find the email addresses in the comments section below. For questions about the Treasury Portal or for technical support, please email 
COVID relief IT support at treasury.gov. For general questions about the coronavirus state and local fiscal recovery funds program, please email slfrf at treasury.gov. Thank you again and have a nice day.